Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use TorPass and right here I have a Charleston TorPass but it works exactly the same for Charleston or Savannah. So you see this is a Charleston TorPass and the name here says test test but that would say your name, uh, the number of adults. So we have two adults, one child. Uh, below that you'll see the pass ID. That's for support. If you have to call us, give us your pass ID. And then the active activation date has not been selected yet so we're gonna see here step one choose activation date so we just click here we're gonna select our activation date for and let's make it April 24th activate pass great so now you see the the pass is activated for 424 and here you see this red bar pop up that says your pass is not active today. If our pass was active or could be used for today, that bar would be green. So you can click, get some more information there. Okay, so step two, you'll see it says uh, select your featured tours. So we get three featured tours with a two-day pass. You see right here it says choose three featured attractions plus visit as many standard attractions as you want for two days. So here at the bottom, you see the navigation. Um, but what we're gonna do next is go to step two and select our featured tours. So I hit that button, and then this here shows us all the featured tours we can book. And so, let's see here. Let's book a Charleston Harbor tour. And each attraction has their own detail screen, so why you should visit, highlights of this tour, their address, operating hours, click for directions, here's their map. So let's go up here, the booking and arrival instructions. So to book this, you click the See Available Times button. So we're going to select the date. We're going to select April 24th. We're going to select two adults, one child. We want to see what times they have available for that day. So they have a an 11.30 a.m reservation let's click on that select this time and we're going to confirm takes a second to confirm the booking and there you go the booking has been created so if we go back here to our home screen it's going to show us on saturday april 24th that we have this tour booked and we're also going to receive a email booking confirmation. So the next thing is choose another feature tour because we get to choose three, but you don't have to choose it right away. But next I'm gonna show you this navigation menu here on the bottom. So you see featured, standard, home, maps, and more. So if, um, if we click on featured, that take us back to this featured page. And you can see the check mark there on Charleston Harbor Tours because we chose that as one of our featured or we already booked that. Um, but here, if you look at the standard attractions, these are attractions you can visit as many of these as you want for however many day pass you purchase. So once again, you'll see the detail screen, arrival instructions, uh, why you should visit, and um, probably one of the most handy features of the pass is the map. So um, you can zoom in here this green dot is exactly where i'm located so you can imagine if you were located downtown charleston and your green dot was somewhere in here you could click and say okay i just left i just left this attraction you know what is this oh that's the museum at market hall here's the powder mag museum click for more details so it really will help you navigate an unfamiliar city that you don't know where things are located. Um, so if we click on this more, you'll see a free attractions. So these are just landmark attractions, um, Rainbow Row, you know, great photo opportunity places, um, Isle of Palms, the City Market, St. Michael's Church. Um, and then another helpful feature is we have this parking and restrooms locator. So it shows you where the parking garages are. Uh, frequently asked questions will take you back to our website. So that concludes our tour of the tour pass. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us or um, um, 
just give us a call. And one additional thing I want to show you is how to save it to your home screen. So if on an iPhone, I click the arrow, the blue arrow with the up, the blue box with the up arrow in the center bottom of my screen. And then I simply add this to my home screen, confirm it. And then right here, it adds that icon so I can quickly find it at any time. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Um, hope you have a great day and thank you so much.